The pros have traveled the world and competed in hundreds of events. So I went to ask them to take a moment to reflect back on some of those memories and their most significant moments in their career and also the places that they'd most like to go back to. Um. <laughs> uh. Um. What's your favorite race, the best race that you've like ever had? Uh, 7.3 Boulder this year is probably the best race in terms of performance wise. It was my first official race back from injury. And uh, yeah, it just absolutely, for me, had a blinder and went out and I don't know where it came from, but it was my best race probably to date. Bermuda. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know, I really like my World Cup in Lausanne this year. Not only because I won, but uh, because uh, it was a great feeling on uh, on the bike. But it was not a good feeling on the no, it was a great feeling on the run, but not a great feeling on the bike. And I still like have to overcome like mental issues there and struggling on the bike to really like push through on the run and uh, performing extremely well. No idea. Wildflower is probably my most memorial. Okay. Um, just the, I guess it's always referred to as the Woodstock of triathlon, yeah. and and uh, I won that in 2006. Yeah, funnily enough, I think uh, Ironman Wales. It's not a very, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a tough course, but um, I've had uh, some good results there, and um, there's such a awesome atmosphere around that race. Like the town really comes out um, in huge numbers to support. So yeah, it's got a special place in my heart that race. Um, I get asked that all the time, and it's really hard to. Um answer really because I think it depends on just like your whole experience and like obviously my highest experience in a race has to be Malulabar winning the world champs so um, that's always going to be special to me but I mean there's courses that I like like Mont Tremblant that I love and um, I just have really good memories of being back here last year and my first time in Bahrain and um, being part of the just Bahrain team and being part you know the whole royal family stuff and um, yeah, it's pretty cool, so. Uh, it's always very special to come back to Leeds. It's the biggest World Series event we have with the, like, the, the venue is great and the spectators is turning up in really big numbers. And also it's uh, in the hometown to Alistair and Johnny, so it makes it even more special to, to try to win there. And uh, so that's always uh, an event I'm looking forward to. Uh, it would be Kona for sure. Uh, like. It's everyone's dream, so I would say Kona. What is your most memorable moment in triathlon so far? Uh, Bermuda. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say maybe here in Bahrain, maybe last year. That was very, very special. I would say the, my, my first win as an Ironman, uh, it was Ironman Barcelona. That was the best one. Everything came out perfectly. And then I, I outran and it was, yeah, my, my first win. Probably the fondest, mo fondest, most recent memory is at Ironman New Zealand in March this year when I finally finally managed to cross the line first. Um, getting onto the marathon and getting getting through those first few kilometres and uh, and feeling good and reali realising then that things it's going to be a good day and uh, just being able to progress through the run. Uh, yeah, maybe it's run in Lausanne or crossing the finish line in uh, my last 17 point three in uh, Haugesund, Norway. Um, obviously Maludabar, yeah. You know what, I think 2010 Youth Olympic Games, I think crossing the finish line there, that was really something special. Um, my first, I guess, international race as well. So for me, that was a huge highlight um, and as part of the Australian team and yeah, and all everyone else, was, everyone was there to greet me at the finish line, I think. Yeah, that's always going to be a special moment. Like a very special moment this year was was winning Ironman Wales again after I had my back injury the year before, and uh, yeah, that was my first Ironman win since the injury, and yeah, it was a good, a big turning point for me, just knowing that I could uh, get back and competitive over the long distance. What's your favourite distance to race? I mean, you do Super League, you do Olympic sprint, and 70.3. I think it's something unique for the Olympic, you know. The, the duration and also the fact that it is in the Olympic. So um, I always prefer Olympic over sprint distance. Full, full. <laughs> Definitely the 70.3. 70, 70 um, I really struggled with the ITU and the shorter stuff, um, more mentally than physically, but uh, I didn't really enjoy it, to be honest. And racing this distance, I feel like it suits me a lot better. Mentally, I'm a lot more in control over this distance. Um, and there's a lot, I think it plays, 
uh, to the strengths of an athlete more than the, the mental game and, and it eliminates, uh, I guess making a mistake isn't as vital as if it were to be ITU, like one moment and your whole day can be over, you yeah. know, so uh, I like this in that it's more about training and it's more about the strength of the athlete as opposed to like yeah. petty little things, you know. I think I'll chop and change uh, between Ironman or 70.3 on, on what I prefer. Like if I have a good Ironman, then I'm like, yeah, Ironman's my distance. But uh, then when you have a bad race, like no, 70.3 is much easier. So I think it uh, depends on how fit you are really. Yeah. Uh, Olympic distance. I would say uh, Olympic distance is my favorite. 17 for three, it's a bit boring on a bike. Not much happen, not much action, but it's uh, of course very demanding. And sprint, it's uh, it's more like if you lost something, you are uh, are lost. So Olympic, you have time to uh, like catch up if you're if you've done some mistakes. Well, that was a great insight into some of the places that the pros have been and some of those interesting memories. If you've enjoyed it, hit the thumb up like button and hit the globe to subscribe to make sure you get all of our videos. And talking of memories, I'm going to be a little bit self-indulgent now. If you want to see my best race moment when I competed in Kona, there's a vlog on that just down here. And if you want to see some other videos from our Ask the Pros, you can find those just here.